In the previous video we saw how to create this colour-coded map showing species richness for each two kilometre square across the county. We're going to take this one stage further now and see if we can create a map for the same thing but at one kilometre square level. MapMate's standard queries and maps don't actually allow you to do anything at one kilometre square level so before we start producing the map the first thing we need to do is to set up a query that will analyse our data by one kilometre square. In MapMate then we need to go to the analysis section and we're going to create a new user query. So we'll double click on the user queries heading. I've got rather a lot of user queries on my copy, there'll probably be fewer on yours. But however many queries you have, you need to scroll down to the bottom of the list and look for new user query. But don't click on that one just yet. To get the code that we need for our query, we need to go to BSBI's MapMate support website. Once you've arrived at the site, you need to go to section 8, which has a number of custom queries that you can use. And the one we're after is the one called Sites and Species 1K. So if you click on the link here, it'll take you to the bottom of the page, which is where the code is that we need. So the first thing to do is to copy the title of this query, go back into MapMate, double click on our new user query, paste in the title. As you may have seen before, whenever you create a query in MapMate, it puts this little bit of text in which we don't need, so we can just highlight and delete that text. Now we go back to our website page, and we need to copy all the code from the beginning right the way through to the final semicolon. And copy that text back into MapMate, paste the text in, and click on the button to save the query. And we now have a one kilometre square query set up. So having created a query that will allow us to analyse our data by one kilometre square, we can proceed to create a map to do that. Let's close the two kilometre map that we've been looking at. And we'll create a new map based on the ten kilometre squares to start with, as we did before. So we go to File, New Map, Special Map Wizard, make the usual choices. And for this one we'll just choose one data object to start with, which is a 1 to 10 species band for 10 kilometres. And as usual we'll adjust the title. And when we OK this one, it creates a map showing 10 kilometre squares that have just between 1 and 10 species recorded in them. So at the moment this map isn't really doing what we want it to, but it's the starting point that we can use to edit and change it into a 1 kilometre square map. Open up the feature detail list, and where it says 1 to 10 species, right click, show underlying data, and show the SQL. The SQL that the map uses by default picks up on a system query called Sites and Species, and the fact that it's got U in front of it designates that it's one of the queries that comes with MapMate. The query that we set up is a custom query, so we need to change every appearance of the U backslash to a C backslash. And having done that, we can then change all the mentions of 10k to 1k. Once you're happy that you've changed all the U's and all the 10k's, you can click on the Save button. OK, OK, and close, and then go to Reload the Map. As we saw before, the first thing that happens is you get an enormous number of large black blobs completely obscuring the map. Um, but that was because our dots are being drawn at much too big a size at the moment. So if we go to the size column, right click and change that to one kilometer. So we now have a map that's beginning to look a bit more useful, and this is showing all the one kilometer squares that have between one and ten species recorded in them. We now want to add some other dots that will allow us to pick out squares that have more than 10 species, and I think we'll do two more bands for this particular map. The easiest way to do that, to save us having to retype all the query changes again, is to copy the feature that we have already edited. 
So we highlight the row that we want to copy and then we can do edit, copy and then edit, paste. Or you can do the same thing with the keyboard with control C and control V. We now have our three data objects and the first thing to do is to edit their names by right clicking and rename. Change the numbers to three separate number bands and don't forget to press enter each time to save the change. Now we need to edit the underlying SQL just to change the, the number of species that we're looking for for the two that we've added. So go into the 11 to 20, right click, show underlying data, click on the SQL and we just need to change the numbers here. Save. And likewise for our other number band. And we can now reload the map one more time. And we can see that the map has filled in quite nicely, um, but the number bands all look the same at the moment. So the next thing to do is to adjust the colouring. And I'll use the same rather garish colours that we did in our previous example. So for each one you find the colour column, you right click, go to line colour. And there we have our colour coded map at one kilometre square level. And we'll just add the key in the same way that we did last time by drawing the box. Remember to keep this. Then we can go to edit, insert, add in the key, sort the items into order so that all the key items are together and then it's relatively easy to right click and change the size of them. And here's our finished map, colour-coded for different numbers of species in the one kilometre squares right across the county.